unbelievable. When I see this, I, I, I think it's Google. Yes, I know. The color. The like The color. It's pretty amazing in Greenland. Greenland, Greenland ruby, ruby yeah. is very hot in the Tucson show. You can see it's so hot that the ice is melting. <laughs> yeah. exactly. And actually, um, thank you for stopping uh, to take a look. This is really one of the most fascinating and interesting new discoveries of our time. It's not every day that you could discover a new ruby yeah. mining operation, let alone in the origin as remote <laughs> and as fresh and pristine. Not like, a, like a, you know, like Com Burma, like a Sri Lanka. Exactly. You know, these are the traditional different. origins. In Greenland, this is a brand new um, origin, really. It was only recently discovered in, in the 1960s, actually. 1960s by the Danish Geological Survey. Oh, Danish. They actually um, heard reports of uh, red in the rock on the ground. Yeah. Of course, they went there to do research and they discovered that it's indeed well, corroded. Back to the 1960s, why is to manufacture now? Because it's so remote and such a difficult part of the country to get to, and Greenland is very un unexplored. It took a lot of money and uh, many, many years of exploration, and of course, licensing from the Greenland government mm -hmm. yeah. to actually build a mining operation there. And of course, many, many millions of dollars. And uh, so finally, the mine is in production now for two and a half years. Oh, I've been waiting for two years. Exactly. I was, uh, I was in the uh, Vegas show, you know, trying to buy something. Ah, but well, not that's for right. It, exactly. So it's not taken a, a long time to, to get to a point where actually we can start to sell because we are, you know, been researching what, what is this material all about? How, how should we process it? How should we cut and polish? And how, in fact, do we sell? How do we introduce a new very unique what about the, the weather there? Well, the weather there <laughs> is horrible. icy. It's very, very cold. What's the temperature? The temperature what? range, you know, the, the Greenland is, is most... Do they have summer? They have summer. Well, they have how, very, what's very the temperature? nice summer. Very short, very, very nice. Can how short? Quite warm. Um, yeah. I would say, I mean, I, I think like two to three months oh, uh, where, where they have a nice temperatures can, can be in the 60s and 70s especially in the southern part of Greenland, for sure. Uh, but the winter months are long and very, very dark. Yeah, then I have a question. If you only have two or three months summer, that means yeah. you only can operate the mining. No, no, no. The mining operation operates 12 months. Even the winter? Even in the winter, because even though that's very strange and difficult for us to imagine working in this kind of condition, they are used to it. The employees at the mine are all local from Greenland and they're used to this working condition. So for them, it's no problem. Weather is no problem. Weather is no problem. So they keep going 12 months a year and uh, yeah, they are uh, bringing us. What about the background of the geology? Well, the geology is, um, you know, it's uh, quite mysterious how they found a ruby in Greenland because there's no um, you know, previous history of that before and it's of course not related to anything in Burma or in the southern part of, eastern part of Africa. Um, so it's quite unique. It's a hard rock deposit and it is believed to be the oldest yeah, so deposit that. on Earth. How old is that? Three, uh, the geologists Geologist. tell us nearly three billion years old, which Gosh, dates back to the very first, like it's amongst the first uh, rock formation on Earth. Yeah. So, the inclusion of this in the rubies and pink sapphires from Greenland tells the story of that billions and billions of years old. Very unusual, very unique. Do they have specific like inclusion inside the Greenland? They do have. The laboratories that have been researching the material have assured us that the the rubies and pink sapphires from Greenland have a specific fingerprint, oh, fingerprint. Of, of Greenland. So they are able to positively identify the gems from Greenland that they are in fact Greenland. Very nice. We are so lucky having you today. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you so much. And it's such a pleasure to meet you.